Question six. So first thing that we've got to do, so probably the easiest idea is just to rewrite what it actually means. Okay, so we can work out G with zero as the input. So just following this through. So that means we're just going to input zero into this here. So G zero means so zero minus two squared plus one. So that's going to be equal five. And then we've got to work out G five. So that means we're looking at this one. So four times five take away seven. So that's going to be equal 13. All right, so there we go. We've got part A. Right, part B. I've uh, got to do a little bit more work on part B. Well, it is four marks, isn't it? It says find all the values of x for which our function g is going to be more than 28. Well, let's do the easier bit first of all, right? So we'll look at when x is more than 2. So let's do that first. So 4x minus 7 is more than 28. So 4x has got to be more than 35. Divide by 4. So x has to be more than 35 over 4. Okay, so there's one part of the solution. Now the slightly harder one is actually thinking about this part when x is less than or equal to 2. All right, so we're looking at this bit on this section here. So we've we found the solution over here, right? So imagine this 35 over 4. So we found like 28 there. So now we're going to look at this part and try and work out this solution over here. So it looks like it may well be a negative solution. So let's have a look at this here then. So let's give ourselves a little bit of room to this one. So we've got x minus 2 squared plus 1. And we're interested in when that's going to be more than 28. So take away 1 from both sides. So x minus 2 squared has to be more than 27. Let's multiply that out. So x squared minus 4x plus 4 is more than 27. Uh, take away the take away 27 from both sides. So x squared minus 4x minus 23 has to be more than zero. So if we, oh, I was hoping that that might factorize, but it's not going to factorize, is it? It's minus 23 at the end. So that's not very nice. So we're going to have to use the formula. Um, that's going to be the easiest, easiest bet to do this. So we've got 16, and then we're going to have plus uh, four times the 23 there, and all of that over two. And if you do that, that gives you two possibilities. So we've got 2 minus 3 root 3, and then we've got 2 plus 3 root 3. Well, we're, in, we're interested in the lower end. Um, if you think about what we've got, right, this is giving us a quadratic, okay, and we've got a nice smiley quadratic, and we're interested in this, this lower section. Maybe we should show that, just sort of dropping down a little bit more, right, and we're interested in in this bit just over here. So that's going to be the other possibility. So therefore, x has to be less than this figure, doesn't it? So x could be more than 35 over 4. And also, x has to be less than 2 minus, what was it, 3, 3 root 3. OK, so we've got those two bits just there. All right, we found all the values of x that satisfy that. OK, now going down and having a look, see what we've got down here. So the function h is defined by, so we've got some function h. Explain why h has an inverse, but g does not. Well, we can see here that, first of all, so h is a one-to-one -one function. Okay, each value that goes into this, just because we're only looking at these ones here when x is less than or equal to 2, each one that goes in is going to give us a unique answer. So therefore, it's got an inverse. Um, so that does have an inverse. But G, annoyingly, G is a many to one. 
And basically what that means is that a number of different possibles go to one answer. So that doesn't have an inverse. And what have we asked to do on part D? Well, part D, it's probably easier to think about this. It just means, uh, so it's, it's only inverse function of x is equal to minus a half. Well, all that means is that subbing in minus a half into h equals x. So what you've got to do is just substitute minus a half into this here. So minus a half minus 2 squared plus 1. So that's going to give us minus 5 over 2. And then remember that squared plus 1. 25 over 4. Let's make a bit of room for you. 25 over 4 plus 1. That equals 29 over 4, or that's 